Safaricom's full-year profit has dipped for the third year in a row, registering a 22.2% reduction to 52.5 billion shillings. CEO Peter Ndegwa blamed the reduced profits to high cost incurred in setting up the subsidiary in Ethiopia, as well as reduced mobile termination rate that affected voice revenue. The telco that has secured a mobile money license for Ethiopia has proposed to pay 62%, 62 rather cents per share as the final dividend. Safaricom has over the last three years been posting reduced full year profits. In 2021, the profit dipped 6.8%. Last year, it reduced 1.7%. And this year, the telco says its full year profit is down 22.2%. This time round, the telco says huge investments incurred on setting up the subsidiary in Ethiopia was the main reason for reduced profits from 67.4 billion shillings to 52.8 billion shillings. Capital expenditure for Ethiopia business came in lower than guidance due to a late startup and slowdown in site rollout, closing at 4 billion shillings lower than our guidance. Safaricom says operational costs increased by 34.2% after spending 55.77 billion shillings in rolling out operations in Ethiopia seven months ago. And that will give us quite a bit of scale in our ability. Uh, to get what is called contiguous coverage uh, for our customers and be able to overlay all the solutions including mobile uh, financial services. During the year, revenue grew 4.3 percent to 310 billion shillings powered by M-Pesa that netted 117.19 billion shillings. And most importantly, mobile termination rate, mobile termination rate change that came into effect from 1st of August, impacting our top line revenue to the tune of 2 billion Kenya shilling. However, voice revenue dropped at 2.6% to 81.1 billion shillings after reviewed downwards of the mobile termination rate. This revenue stream is under pressure and has been has remained under pressure for for a long time. The telco has proposed a final dividend of 62 cents per share, which in addition to the interim dividend will push the total dividend payout for the year to 1 shilling and 20 cents per share. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.